So when you look at look, isn't that, yeah, isn't that true? Right. Right. Where isn't that true? We food. are overpopulated in some ways, though, yeah. with our technology. But let me just make this point. Man, we got to end this. I got to pee so bad. Well, go go <laughs> go pee pee. Come back. We'll finish five more minutes because I want to I want to get into the talk to Eddie. Talk some sense into it. I got to piss too. Oh here we go. Tell me about Buzz Aldrin. Tell me about your boy Buzz Aldrin. You know, I'll tell you about Buzz Aldrin. He oh, told me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I know. He, where are you going, yeah, man? Got, okay. Info, it's going to be Browns. Infowars.com. Clevelandbrowns.com. I'm here no live. Go to Infowars.com. No, they can't both leave. Jamie. Eddie, how are you doing? I'm doing good. So, um, what do you what do you think about the wide receiver uh, <laughs> uh, the, of the Browns? I don't think we can turn the talk to Browns okay. talk right now. No? Unfortunately. No. <laughs> Is, okay, is there any conspiracy theory that you uh, kind of are suspicious of? There's got to be at least one. Yeah, there's def- uh, definitely. I'm, I'm like not, which one? Uh, like 9-11. 9-11, you think, uh, you know, are you familiar with Tower 7? Yeah, I, I would say from mo- almost every story, even uh, the stuff we've talked about before in the past, I, I don't believe the, the official in quotes. Okay. So story. when you so you know that Tower Seven was the, the third tower that went down. You're aware of that, right? Yeah, I, I'm. I look more when it, when that comes up. Uh, all of the surrounding information about uh, what it, what was in, in the buildings, mm-hmm. not not the actual event. I know yeah. the event happened. I'm not. I'm not so curious about that. But did you see the video of Tower Seven just going? <laughs> fall, yeah, falls I, sure. at free fall yeah. speed. That's got to be a little suspicious. Uh, Right, it, a, a, yeah, a red flag got to come up right? at least, right? It's, if you're trying to, if you're really trying to get to the truth, you're like, wait a minute. I would say it's more suspicious f- that a third building fell that wasn't. It wasn't touched, even hit exactly. Yeah. That's what the whole story is with Tower Seven. And not only was it not touched by a, a plane, it went down at free fall speed, and it's caught on video like five different angles. Right, there's five different. No one's saying that it's fake footage. That's Tower Seven, a 47 story skyscraper, fucking falling at free fall speed. Some people are saying it got hit with a direct energy weapon. Some people are saying that it was uh, brought down like a, uh, a controlled demo in like in Vegas, like one of those buildings, you know. But regardless of how it was brought down, you got to look at that video footage and go, wait a minute. And why is YouTube taking down Building 7 footage? Yeah. I mean, here, here's and my thing about Building 7. footage. Why are they I going was, out for flat earth? I was on syndicated radio on like 50 stations in 2001. And mm-hmm. I'm sitting there. That's actually, just, I was on 120 stations. So I lost like 70% of them for saying that it was an inside job. I didn't mean the firemen blew it up. I'm watching... Fox News, CNN at my studio. And then I go get a pizza at 4 o'clock with CBS Radio back then. And they go, Solomon Brothers, Building 7, is going to be brought down to control demolition to save other buildings. So I go back on air and announce Building 7 is being brought down to save other buildings. And for like five years, everyone goes, I'm crazy. Then CNN and all of them archive it on the Internet. And everyone's watching Building 7 going... Uh, BBC, ABC. Let me ask you, CNN. What, what do you think happened with Tower Seven? CNN, ABC, and CBS told me the government blew it up. The government. I blew mean, it you up. can play the clips. They go. The cops are like, "Get back! We're blowing it up!" And the media goes, "Oh, you mean the cops blew it up? No, the cops are told get back on the countdown." But I've interviewed the cops think, like ten, nine, seven, six, five, four, three. Explain it to me. Do you think that they had detonations set up already in the building? See, when that's they where this goes it? next, Joe. Which I used to always like try to follow down what it means. I don't know. I've learned to go. Hey, I've got five different newscasts when it happened and before is, saying they blew it up. I don't know what happened. Is it possible that it collapsed because of those gigantic diesel fires, right? And then the that was way, Tower One and Two. Seven's no, its own building. Seven Seven had a diesel, You're right, had diesel, a diesel tanks in the basement and bunker. they caught fire. And they said it was an inferno. And they said it cooked through so the internal... So see how he knows all hold, this? Hold on a second. It's always... But I want to ask you this because I don't know. Oh, yeah, right. But it, it, they said that what happened was this is whoever the fuck explained it that you know was making these YouTube videos that the fire had burnt through the internal structure of the building at such a, a, a high temperature that all of these floors pancaked. collapsed. They pancaked. And then it came but down. But it never happened before or since. Right. Never has happened before or since. That's a fact. Joe, I'm gonna, here's, but here's the thing about the this. The Alex Jones 18 years ago would argue every point and say I knew what happened. Okay. The Alex Jones of 2019 is honest. Well, I'm glad you're, you're And evolved. I'm going to say, 
I've seen them say they blew it up and nobody can describe it. I don't know, Joe, what happened? Right. Well, when you look at it, the way it falls, it falls exactly like a controlled demolition. Exactly. So it falls yeah. from the top down. But if you actually watch. free fall speed. Right. But if you watch the full video, the center of it collapses. Like there's a full video where you're looking at the top of the building and the center of it collapses far before the outside does. That's how they take, they take out the elevator they shafts They take out first. the central thing first. And so then they do, light up the do rest they, of the beam. Do they do this with, do they have it all set in advance? So they knew that 9-11 was going to come in two you weeks? You just answered my question. I these... don't know. Right. And what they do is they take like some clip of me from 20 years ago or 18 years ago going, here's CBS News, and they don't show it. I mean, I've got CBS. But I've got BBC. Is it possible that even though Operation Northwoods happened and Gulf of Tonkin was a conspiracy, is it possible that the internal fires in that building were so unbelievably hot that it fucked up every floor and they really did pancake on top of each other and then the exterior structure just collapsed? Is that possible? Because uh, I'm not an engineer. The, I've had it, the engineers say it's not. It's not possible and at it, all? And here's the problem, Joe. They announced it fell on its own footprint. 27 minutes before it did on did five win? channels. Damn. BBC World. That's true. BBC, CNN, CNN, and CBS. Joe, I'm a, I am like to eat food. I do too. It was 4 o'clock. I've been on air since the morning on syndicated radio. I drove down to the local pizza place at 4 o'clock, got my pizza, was eating it in the car, and I heard CBS radio driving home. And they said... The decision has been made to save other buildings to control demolition. The Solomon Brothers Building, Building 7. By the way, we have these clips now. Mm. But no one archives stuff then. So I go on air and I go, yeah, they just blew up a building. Everybody started freaking out. But here's the thing. And then they blew it up. How long does it take to set up explosives to the point where you could paint? It a normally building? takes a week. A and week? that was the next story. But then I interviewed the head of emergency management for New York. Yeah. And the loose change people got him on. And he says, no, I was there. They had bombs. The CIA. He says, you know what was based in Building 7, right? Bill, what? The CIA, the FBI, all of it. Was it an NSA as well? Everything. See, he always says, oh, I don't know. He goes, <laughs> I'm not just kissing Joe's ass. Like, he's beyond Joe Alex Jones. what's up. He's like, no, it's bullshit, man. Yeah. No, I mean, I you know things. every fucking thing, dude. <laughs> just fucking say it yourself. No. I want you to explain it to everybody. Oh, yeah, you're right. Wasn't the NSA in there, too? It's like, you did yeah, a better it's, job it's 40 than fucking me. stories of fucking government. <laughs> right. So there's 40. With a diesel tank and pre-rigged explosives in case shit hits Dude, the fan. Dude, I didn't believe. I wasn't Imagine sure that. then. Even though I heard CBS say they blew it up. And even though, and like the news would go, Jones says firefighters blew it up. Because the government, same thing, point you made is a good point. Like I'm saying, the government. No, I don't mean my grandpa that was in the army. If it uh, really did pancake from the from the fire, what a shit design. Yeah. What a terrible design. I'd be so mad at that architect. Well, those were the debates the from underwriting laboratories. Because everyone went and looked at the blueprints. Yeah. And it is New York. And, and I'm not defending what you're saying. Because Seven was built well. It was looked at by lawsuits. They were sued. Mm. Tower One and Two, though, they were built with like bubble gum and like band aids. Really? Oh, oh, those buildings were already leaning. Oh, no. It was a big mob scam. Yeah, oh, they were, no. They already they had fucking leaning. They already had buckling in the wind. Oh no! And they had mathematicians guess that within like five years, one building would collapse. Oh fuck! Oh my god! So there goes your argument. It's New York. These buildings are built for shit. And that's when, as you get older, you go. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them are built for shit, right? For sure, right? I don't. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I especially you. back then. When the what is inside your bag? You have more tobacco? No, I'm j I do have more tobacco, but I'm just. Uh, Can I have a little bit more tobacco? Yes, for sure, hundred percent. You, know, you, know you know who Dr. Judy Wood is? Uh, oh, no, I do know. She's yeah, she's got Dr. Judy Wood has wrote a book called "Where Did the Towers Go?" Yeah, particle. And her theory. Stuff. Her theory is, this is just. This is just some lady, scientist lady. No, I know. So she, she said it was a said, federal agent for believing her. Based on I, the I fact that there was... This is what she claims. Based on the video... Her and, and, the, and And the pictures that she has of uh, where the towers collapsed. By the way, I'm she's tired saying, of Fetzer speaking for me. Sorry. She's saying... <laughs> 
that there was no rubble. The book, the name of the book is called Where Did the Towers Go? Mm. She said that direct energy weapons, some kind of direct energy yeah. weapons, dustified the buildings, turned the buildings to dusk because there was no rubble. A dude gave me a book on that. Have He's you like, seen that? You, you got to read this. He's like, in yeah, Australia? Use, in Australia? No, no, no. He's in America. Yeah, this, he, he was in LA. He told me uh, they use Tesla technology. I was like, what? Eddie, I'm book. not saying you're wrong to ask that question. <laughs> I, you know what? For me, it doesn't matter if it was justified or they but blew them up accused, Las Vegas style. I have it doesn't been accused. matter. Here's Those buildings, in my opinion, in Sandy Hook, up. 